<laughs> so what do you do about us, Sante? Oh, I'm going to take these fresh, the fresh ghost skin and I'm going to tack it onto the wall to preserve it for use in creating a drum later on. Okay. And what is that that the ghost skins are in? Uh, water. Woo, they stink! Yeah. Yeah, all dead things stink. But these stink, they were in the water just a little bit too long. So let them stay in too long. If you let them stay in too long, they don't fall apart. Mm. So you just get a fresh skin, if you can, and then we'll take it and tack it up with the fur side to the wall. Is there any particular way you have to tack it up? Uh, tack them up so that they're, they're hot and tight. From going <clears throat> with the flow of the hair on the spine. So the water just falls off. And how long does it take for the skin to dry? Oh, it depends upon the weather. During the sun, the heat of the summer, it should take two days. And then once they dry, they will be preserved forever. So, at least this is the way I do it, which is the way that was taught to me by Lalu. Otherwise, mostly, Walu mostly, mm -hmm. Musa mostly, and my new L. Washington. They taught me this. Mm -mm. Right. You have to tack it all the way around. Native Americans get it, as far as I know. Okay. And then, uh, Alright. Alright. Then they will dry. And they'll look like these over here. <clears throat> so when it's time to put together a drum, I'll just choose one, take it off, put it in the water, usually overnight, and in the morning, I'll take it out, wring it out, and begin putting that skin on that drum. Okay. And that's all that is. That's all that is. Yeah, from this 